Hi guys, it's uh, Angie with Instinctive Thrift. Uh, just wanted to not only do a quick video to show off my newest haul, but also to give a little bit of a life update to explain why I've been sort of MIA from the channel. Um, as you guys know, I did recently go to Rome. Uh, unfortunately, the partner that I went on that trip with and I split up soon after so it's been a little bit chaotic having to move re rather quickly and um, I'm also looking for a new job right now and um, just trying to get everything unpacked and getting the house put together and whatnot so it's been a little hectic um, but on the bright side I was offered the opportunity to sell my um, upcycled jewelry at the New Orleans North Festival, which is in downtown Joliet, so that was a lot of fun. Um, they're also looking at having me um, vend my wares, so to speak, uh, in September and October. They have the Pride Fest and then Panic at the Plaza, um, so that will be really exciting. So I'm hoping to do that, which, speaking of, um, I'm hoping to launch instinctivethrift.com very, very soon. Um, that site though will deal exclusively with my one-of-a-kind upcycled pieces. Um, the resale is still going to be on Poshmark and Mercari, but if you guys are interested in anything um, upcycled, one-of-a-kind, that sort of thing, that will be on the website. So that's really exciting. Um, but as far as the haul video, um, or haul portion of the video, I should say, um, I now live in Hoffman Estates, so they have a annual community garage sale, which is advertised as the biggest in the Northwest Chicago suburbs. Um, it's been featured on NBC, um, other news channels and whatnot. This year they had 166 houses participating. It is huge. Um, I did not go to all 166, I assure you. Um, I went to more like maybe 12, 15, something like that. And that's because they do give a printed packet um, of a map with all where all the houses are located that are participating. And each address has listed what kind of stuff they're selling. So that was fantastic. Um, so if you were into tools, baby clothes, jewelry, crafting stuff, um, housewares, furniture. You could just skip over which addresses did not have those things listed. So it kind of made it a lot easier for me to figure out where I wanted to go, where I wanted to hunt, because it was pretty hot out. So I probably was out there like three or four hours and then called it a day. Um, that being said, I am going to, um, show you guys what I got and I'm pretty excited because some of it is going um to upcycling um some of it is to go on the store and only a few pieces are for my personal collection so I'm really excited to see what you guys think um the first thing I got is this beautiful vintage aurora borealis crystal wreath um brooch um, it is not marked. There are no markings whatsoever, as you can see, but it is in beautiful, beautiful condition, and I am such a big fan of Aurora Borealis. So this will be going on my store, um, Poshmark and Mercari. Um, by the way, if you guys see anything you'd like, feel free to shoot me an email at instinctivethrift at gmail.com, and I'm sure we can work out a price that works for both of us. Um, so just an FYI, otherwise most things will be getting posted to my stores. And then the next thing is this dainty, beautiful sterling silver. Ooh, sorry, it's waving a little bit here. I'm trying to back up a little bit. Sterling silver, um, double ring necklace. It is marked 925 LA and then CN. So I will have to do, I'm trying to get this not to start waving like crazy. There we go. So I can kind of make it focus a little bit, but it is a beautiful pendant. I'm trying to see if I can get it to focus. It's not going to focus, but 
um, it is genuine sterling silver. So that is going to be on my page as well. And I believe it is cubic zirconia are the stones. It is not diamonds or anything like that. Um, next thing I got was this awesome pair of Jessica Simpson heels. They look like they've barely been worn. They weren't 10 bucks though. That was a sticker from something else. Um, and it has this cool, like, aztec -y, rubberized texture kind of detail to it. And it is like a cobalt blue suede. They are lace-ups. They are, if I remember correctly, yep, they are a six medium. So they are awesome. Look like they've barely been worn, maybe a few times, maybe, if that. So um, they those are really cool, and those will be going up on my store as well. And then I did find this brand new pretty much brand new pair of Chinese laundry wedge sandals um or wedge heels look like they've never been worn still have the little stickers on the bottom it is a seven and a half with this great um like tied bondage kind of detail around the ankle strap um they are seven and a half so unfortunately they did not fit me I am a seven and a half or an eight usually. These are actually too big. So I guess I'm a smaller size in this particular brand. But Chinese Laundry, um, brand new. They are gorgeous. I believe they smell like genuine leather. And I believe they are marked leather somewhere. So um, those will be going up for sale on my store as well. Um, let's see, what else did I get? Sorry. Um, I was trying to film it with my computer, but the computer would not cooperate. So this is the best I can do right now, guys. Um, I also did find a brand new, still in the plastic wrap, um, wallet. It is a, like a plasticized quilted kind of, of material, but it's so cute. The color is really vibrant. Great for summer. Um, there are plenty, plenty, plenty of credit card slots, slots for your ID, anything like that. And it does like still have even the foam inserts. So, I mean, brand spanking freaking new. Um, that is going to be posted for sale to my store as well. Then I also have, trying to find, that's the other shoe. This might be the find of the day. This is staying with my personal collection, so sorry guys if you were interested in buying this, but this gorgeous, 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 like vintage beaded handbag. I've never seen hardware like this before. It just push, pop, there we go. The lining is impeccable. Now, I'm not entirely certain how old the piece is, um, this style of bags I've seen anywhere from Edwardian to 20s, 30s, 40s, maybe 50s. Um, they certainly stopped doing this intricate hardware a while ago. If it is a reproduction, I, I, I'm not sure because I would think with this shape of bag and like 60s, 70s didn't really go all ornate like this. So I'm going to have to do a bit more research on this, but I absolutely am obsessed with this bag and I can't wait to use it on a date or something like that. Um, absolutely love, love, love. Like this is, this is so my aesthetic. I also did get a brand new Enzo Angiolini, still has the tag, um, genuine leather blush handbag, which can either be a shoulder bag a clutch or a top handle. So the inside is impeccable. Again, still has the tags, never been used. You can see that it's marked right on the back, Enzo Angiolini. And I just love the blush color. So this will be going up for sale on my stores as well. And then if we want to continue the purse trend here, Genuine fossil black leather handbag still has all the original hardware and details with it. As you can see, I mean, I can smell the leather, like even from, you know, a foot away. It's, it's beautiful. The lining is still in really good shape. Um, this may or may not have been used, but I don't even, 
see any wear on the bottom. This might have been an impulse buy. It is fossil. It is marked fossil. So I will be posting that for sale as well on the store. Then I do have um, a Vera Wang necklace that I did score. I love these types of crystals, the, the charcoal and like grayish storm blue and crystal. Like none of the stones are missing on the little disco ball here. Um, I believe this is from her Simply Vera line, given the logo. It's beautiful, looks like it's never been worn. It's in perfect shape. So that'll be going up for sale as well. Um, then I did score, these are for my collection. Sorry guys. Um, these vintage Aurora Borealis crystal clip-on earrings. They are marked Laguna on the back here. Um, Laguna was a company that was founded in the 1940s. They went defunct in 1980. So anything signed Laguna is already going to be at least 40 years old vintage. Um, they're in great condition. Um, I'm pretty excited about these. I, I love these. I think they're, they're so classic. And again, I love anything to do with a, like Aurora Borealis. They're really like simple and pretty. I love them. Then I, another thing that I am keeping for myself, which I, I will say, as, as I said, I did find a few pieces. There's no way I can go to any sort of antique store, thrift store, garage sale without at least coming home with some things for myself. But there, I love these chunky pearl rhinestone statement cross earrings. I really love jewelry that is big, colorful, statement making, um, eye-catching, one-of-a-kind, unique, weird, any of that. Like, that's my whole aesthetic right there, guys. So these are not signed. I don't know what brand these might be, but I love them. So I will be wearing those soon. Uh, I did get a sterling silver infinity anklet that will be going up for sale on my store. Still has the brand new tags attached. Um, made in the Dominican Republic. It's an infinity anklet. It is 10 inches, a really dainty chain. So this will be going up for sale on my store. Again, not, not necessarily sure what brand. I do have to look at the markings. They're super small. Um, then I actually did not end up picking this out. One of the ladies just kind of threw it in my purchase for me. It is a vintage like ribbon floral um, kind of almost a corsage looking type of brooch with the pearl in the center. It is not signed so I'm not sure who made it and sorry if I'm looking not directly in the camera guys it's kind of hard when I have the camera tilted sideways um, but it is unsigned but it's in really good shape very well made um, so that will be going up for sale on the store. Um, another thing that must have gotten thrown in because I did not pick these. I don't remember getting these at all. They must have just thrown them in there. These beautiful basic stud cubic zirconia earrings. Pretty big. Like probably fill up the earlobe pretty well. Um, these are not sterling silver from what I can tell. Um, do not know what the brand is, but they are absolutely, they look like they've rarely if ever been worn. So those will be going up for sale and a great like basic piece to wear every day. I did also pick up a brooch that I'm putting up for sale on the store and it is a vintage Lisner. It is a beautiful like arch feather type of motif. There is one tiny stone missing. However, that will be replaced because I do fix vintage jewelry. So um, this will be going up for sale completely restored. Um, and if you guys can see right there on the back, it is signed Lisner. So, um, that will be going up for sale. And I just, I love the colors, like the topazy, citrine -y. I, I believe the correct term is jonquille for this particular color of stone. So that is going to be really pretty when it's fixed up. Um, I did also get this thrown in because it's a button so they didn't really know what to do with it but it is a gorgeous gunmetal and aurora borealis combination i'm really excited to create something with this 
for um, my upcycled um, jewelry line. So that's gonna be really fun. I don't know how old the button is though. And then this I also got to take apart for parts. It is a really bold, chunky, floral statement necklace. I loved the beads. I loved the colors, the pale aqua um, roses. The clasp was broken, so I was able to get it for relatively cheap, but I saw all the beads and I'm excited to see what I can, excuse me, what I can do with this once I take it apart. Um, I only have a few more pieces, guys, so I promise this won't take too much longer. Um, normally, as you guys know, my store deals with mainly women's items. I do have a few, um, like tie tacks, um, cufflinks, that sort of thing. So when I see really cool ones, I do pick them up and these are something special. These are cameo resin cufflinks. They do not have a maker's mark, which I'm very, very shocked by because these are really good quality. Um, they are vintage. They're like even engraved around the edges. So I will have to do a bit more research as to when these might've been made, who might've made them. But I originally picked them up to take them apart for my upcycling and I just don't have the heart for it. I think these are just so pretty as is and I really think they would make a great statement piece for some lucky gentlemen out there. So I am going to put those up for sale on the store. Then I did find these, these are also going to be for me. These great like Middle Eastern tribal boho hippie kind of earrings, they're, they're stamped metal. Um, the stones aren't real or anything like that, but I just, I love like, anything that like jingle jangles, um, like has movement to it. Um, so these are really fun. I love these. Um, and plus the, the blue and silver combo is always very, very sharp. Um, just, just two more things guys, I promise. And then I mentioned before, I love anything like weird, colorful, this bolo tie, this bolo tie, guys. I love it. It's decoric glass. The colors are great. This has to be from the 80s, early 90s. I will wear this as a necklace. I don't care. I love it. I think, I just think it's so cool and different. And it came with a pair of earrings. Like, just, I love them. They're super cool and funky and very artsy. Um, very much, again, my aesthetic. And, and the thing is, my aesthetic is so varied, too. Like, I can go from punk to prim and proper princess to glitzy, like, ridiculous glam to, like, just funky art student. Like, I love it all. I love it all. Like, I constantly change my style. I'm a chameleon. And then the last thing, which I'm excited to repair because this is beautiful. It is a necklace. It is marked West Germany. It does have the like hematite style cameo in there. Um, the necklace has the strand is broken off, but I do have the part to replace it. It did come with the part. It's just not fixed. Um, there is one stone missing, but again, super easy fix. And I just, I think the detail is gorgeous. I love things that are in filigree. I do have a couple um, similar style brooches from West Germany and it did have only one earring, but I'm going to make something new with this. This is, this is, this is going to get a new life. It doesn't deserve to sit in a drawer and not be seen just because of the intricate detail in it. So I am going to be making something out of that. And that was the haul. So uh, guys, let me know what your favorite was, what your least favorite was, if you would have picked up the same things I did, um, if you would have kept them versus sold them. You know, I love hearing different opinions. And if anybody knows anything, any other details about some of the jewelry pieces or that vintage purse, which I have to say that 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 was probably my favorite find of the day was this purse. So if anybody knows anything about this, I would love to hear it. Um, but hopefully I will be on the channel more often, guys, and hopefully I will see you guys soon. Bye!